Hi there. We're back at breakfast all day. Uh, so we are now going to begin dipping our toe back into television, our perfectly pointed toe <laughs> and snapping, snapping with purpose, because we're going to talk about Fosse Verdon. Yes. And this is an eight episode series that premiered a couple nights ago on FX, Correct. starring Sam Rockwell as Bob Fosse and Michelle Williams as Gwen Verdon. Alonzo, please tell us about episode one, which is called Life is a, is a Cabaret. cabaret. Uh, so, okay, episode one throws us into the middle of the story. Uh, we get a little bit of Fosse making his film directorial debut with Sweet Charity, a movie that fails. And because of that, he has a hard time uh, at first convincing the powers that be that he is the right guy to direct Cabaret, but he gets the gig and uh, embarks upon what is a very complicated shoot um, for a movie that is uh, legendary, but broke a lot of rules and, and you know, was made at a time when the American screen musical was dying. Um, all the studios were trying to cash in on the sound of music, and so you got all these big bloated musicals, as are mentioned briefly in the film or in this episode. Doctor Doolittle, Star, um, you know, that 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 were killing the musical, and Fosse was doing something entirely different. He was making this movie that was historically relevant and and kind of touched upon the rise of Nazism and felt naturalistic and realistic. Um, you see that in the casting process. Like he right. wants extras, but he wants them to look like actual people. You know, so exactly. the, where he goes to find them is interesting. And then the producer is like, why is it so dark here? We need more light. Right. And, that producer played by Paul Reiser. Yeah. And they have these great yeah. arguments. Cy right. 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 Where Cy comes to the set and he's arguing and, and it's like, it's so dark. And right. he's like, yeah, it's a nightclub. It's a nightclub. <laughs> anyway, so go ahead. Yeah. So anyway, but so, so we get a glimpse of, of Fosse and Verdon's uh, work relationship. Like he's He's got big ideas, but she's a lot better at the at the micro at working with people on an individual level. You know, she comes in with the the dancers on on Sweet Charity and kind of coaches them through their steps, which had to be tough for her because she had played the lead on Broadway. But they put Shirley MacLaine in the movie, which very often is what happens when they bring a Broadway show to the to the big screen. And they talk about that yes. in the film. Yeah. And then uh, and then you know we see her also doing the same on the set of Cabaret and getting stuff accomplished. But also we see that uh, he is cheating on her on the set of Cabaret with a translator and she knows about it and understands us about him but like basically makes a deal with him like look I'll come and I'll do this stuff but you gotta end this and he agrees but then at the, the episode ends with her returning from New York with a gorilla costume and uh, of course the, the, that woman is in his bed and I have to say my, my concern based on the first episode and I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna hang on to this because I'm hoping that the show is gonna prove me wrong but Gwen Verdon is herself a legend and a, an important theater artist. And I really hope that this show is not just about her smiling through tears while the genius treats her badly. Right. And and you see, if did you watch the uh, the tease of the yes. subsequent episodes? So we we will hopefully have a, a better glimpse of why she matters because this first episode of Fosse Verdon felt like Fosse. Fosse, just yeah. plain old Fosse to me, and uh, what a genius he is, and how um, put upon and tolerant she is. So I suspect that because it does jump around in time, it jumps around to who she was before she knew him, mm -hmm. that we will get the the meat of why she matters, and Michelle Williams will get so. a lot more to do here. Yeah, yeah, I hope so. I mean, I will admit that I didn't really know anything of her until I heard about this show. Um, well, she's 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 had a much bigger Broadway career than in the movies, right? And I am, uh, I have very very minimal knowledge of the Broadway scene, mm -hmm. very very minimal. So I don't really know much about her at all. She was in the um, movie of Damn Yankees. Okay, that like the right. thing, like she started the Pajama Game and Doris Day did the movie. She started in Sweet Charity and Shirley MacLaine did the movie, but she did get to do the Damn Yankees okay. movie. Yeah, it, it, so uh, what I found is is yes, this is very much the movie is very much about. Fosse, I mean, the show, this particular episode is very much about him. I, you know, although one of the things I was really irked by, like, really, we had to wait till halfway through this before we actually get to see Sam Rockwell dance at all. Like, that was because he's a terrific dancer. Uh, and we finally see a little bit of it. Um, it's eight episodes, man. You know, I, yeah. I know, but we have like, seven more hours to go. Come on. <laughs> um, I actually didn't get so much that, uh, uh, that Fosse is the big idea guy and that 
that Verdon was good at. I mean, yes, there was that, but I thought it was more that they collaborate together and they their collaboration makes improves what he's able to do because he flails about without her like it's sure. it's you know he either has trouble communicating what he wants or he can't make decisions and there's a there's you know like he doesn't have anyone that he that either trusts him or he trusts and when she comes along it's oh okay now they're working now we're actually getting stuff done right now we're actually seeing this stuff pay off whereas maybe the follow up could be Bogdanovich Platt yeah maybe <laughs> she, um, she tidies things up for him though no. well but yeah but I also think like she also brings her own you know enough to the table that it's it it you know, if not focuses him, I, I got less, I think, than that, like, she's, I mean, yes, emotionally and in the marriage and, and society-wise, she's definitely supporting him, but I felt like this, what I saw is creatively they were equals, right? Yes. At least in the work that they're doing together, he may, he absolutely was getting the acclaim and everyone saw it differently, but I think that this particular episode did a good job of showing, you know, because you see it on the Sweet Charity thing, like, he's when they both start talking to somebody and they start riffing on each other about backstories and, and the way the things do stuff. It's, it's, you know, and it helps that the two leads have such great chemistry that you really buy that working relationship between these two professionals who are both experts in their field. And this goes to, you know, what you start to get a glimpse of is what Ben talks about, like people that are good at their jobs, oh, doing yeah. their jobs mm-hmm. really well. Like this is one of the first times I think I've seen somebody, I've seen a, a movie or a show represent kind of stage and dance direction in a way that like, oh, I see what they're doing here. And like, it's really effective. Like half the time, like you so often see choreographers or conductors or, or whatever, like just screaming at everybody. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. And this one's like, oh, okay. I see what they're trying they're, to, they're creating, they're a performance. creating something. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, even at the beginning parts with sweet charity, like he's concerned about the shots and they keep like pulling dancers. Right. And but she's the one who has to go tell the dancers. Oh, right. sorry, she is, yeah. but it's, it's, you know, it's like, oh, how do we get this tighter? Oh, we're going to lose someone. And, uh, you know, it, that was, I, I thought that was fascinating. Now I am totally not a Broadway expert either, but Mark Harris is. And so he wrote on Twitter about how one thing he appreciated, and I watched it with an eye to this, is just the detail in the clothes and the interiors oh, yeah. and the life of the theater and getting every little detail right because the people who know will know. Yeah. And so it is deeply steeped in like like the throw pillows and the ferns and the apartment and the, the leotards. The, and, the, the, the sets are great. Yeah. Um, the costume design. Dave, Dave White is a stickler about wigs always and he thought the wigs <laughs> all passed muster. They looked realistic. They looked period appropriate. And Michelle Williams already is giving such an extraordinary performance, not just in the scenes that she's got with with Fosse, obviously, but she moves like a dancer. Like, there's a scene where she's sitting in the in the kitchen running lines with the young mm-hmm. daughter and then the phone rings and she springs up to get it and she moves the way a dancer <laughs> would get out of a chair. And that's like a little thing, but she is she is physically, you know, capturing this woman and what she's about. Um, and so, yeah, okay. so yeah, no, I was just saying it is episode one. I'm not right. I'm not like already, you know, mad about the thing. I'm just saying based on what we've seen so far, I hope that Verdon gets more agency and, yes. and, and and more, you know, stuff that isn't just about, oh, Bob was such a shit to her. Right. I can't imagine that Michelle Williams would sign up for something that didn't give sure. a full life to Gwen Verdon. Also, it's edited really beautifully because mm-hmm. it jumps around in time quite a bit. But even within a moment, like there'll be a, a dissolve that indicates a flashback or a flash right. forward or a passage of time that's quite lovely or, you know. Oh, when he talks about performing in the Naval Hospital and, and they're they in the restaurant. A great scene. And then they're back in the restaurant again. That yeah. was such a great Stuff scene. Stuff like that. It's, it's, it's quite a scene was an elegant and, and innovative in the way that it indicates the you know internal life or the passage of time or whatever. So um, yeah, I dug it and I'm excited for more. So we will continue to do Fosse Verdon episodes for you. There are seven more. We also are going to begin doing Game of Thrones because that comes back on Sunday night. Um, are you going to watch it, Alonzo? No, okay, no. great. Because he hasn't thus far, so why start now? I'm going to start now. So we will do those episodes too. I know that Ben wants to be here at some point, so perhaps Ben can come and do 
Game of Thrones with us, but we'll have that for you. We're not going to just wait for Ben. We're going to get started. Mm -hmm. We are. So we're going to have that for you next week. But tweet Ben and tell him he needs to show up. Yes. (laughs) And um, also next week, I will have for you guys my latest a la carte interview. This is with Marcellus Reynolds. If you guys remember my little Wine the Flick series, he did a couple of movies with me for that. He is a former model and stylist and reality star. Mm -hmm. He was on two seasons of Big Brother. He was on Big Brother All Stars. Your cinematographer for Wine the Flick is something else. Yeah. Amazing. Yes, you're very knowledgeable after, after three Mai Tais or whatever you've had. <laughs> and uh, and Marcellus has a book coming out, a beautiful coffee table book called Supreme Models about black models over the years. So we're going to talk about everything. Oh, I remember him telling us about that. Yeah. Yes, it's done. It's really pretty. Nice. So um, Marcellus Reynolds next week. Um, but that's it for us for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want to get this show as a podcast, we are available at just about all the podcast places, so you can subscribe there. And uh, follow us on all the socials uh, at BeFastAllDay on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week. Thanks, guys. Bye.